and my family was from Sicily. And um, all of my parents were born here. And I've done a lot of work with Italian American issues to run things. And um, but Brooklyn is very confining, so I couldn't wait to come to the big city. Because we used to visit the big city. You think in Saskatchewan, it's so different. You know? <laughs> From Brooklyn, New York, we used to go to see the big city twice a year. We used to go to a movie or a show, and that was it. I mean, that was then. Nowadays, with the internet and TV, well, this TV and stuff. I mean, we had just so little TV there. Uh, so, um, but that's what it was like. So I couldn't wait to leave to the big city. So I was very happy when I was here now. Um, my partner, Darla, used to live in Brooklyn when we first met, and every time I went to Brooklyn, I'd get lost. Where was Brooklyn? Uh, well, I grew up in Bay Ridge, Beth, I was in Bensonhurst. Where were you really? I'm Where in Bensonhurst? Uh, 81st and 20th. Oh, I grew up on 80, 82nd and 11th. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> really so we're in Yes. <laughs> yeah. so. So, I, so I'm a Brooklynite. How did you find um, being an artist and trying to balance your family life? Very tricky, very challenging, very hard. Um, worth doing it, but needing, if, if you don't have discipline, um, you really will sink. So you need to make a discipline. You need to discipline your life, not so rigidly that you can't break out, but rigidly enough so you can make your work. So every morning, I would get up, Sometimes when I had to work a, a job, usually I worked like four days a week or something like that. When I had to work a job like that, I would get up like around 5.30 and make art for about two hours before I went to work and um, drop my daughter off at school. Or, you, know, you, just, but you also can interconnect with other women. Um, when she was in preschool or before preschool, we had a whole other group that we would trade off. So each of us only looked after um, our kids once a week because we then were bringing our kids to another kid's house. And so, you ha but you have to be disciplined. You really will drown. <coughs> and try not to ever use as an excuse, you have a family and you can't do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there may be times when that's the case. Um, but if, if you make that as an excuse, you will end up being very embittered. And it's really not true. Barbara Hepworth had triplets. Oh. Do you know who Barbara Hepworth is? A wonderful sculptor, British sculptor. She had triplets during World War II. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw one of the sculptures today at the UN. That's right. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 And it was, in, it was for Dad Coleman Hammershaw, and Dad Hammershaw <coughs> was her good friend. And oh. he was really somebody who was her, an expression of peace. He was the head of the UN. And he died tragically in a plane accident. In World War II, and she had no time at all because she was also working on the war ethic. Um, and she said, even if you get 15 minutes a day and you keep that thread going, that that's the most important thing. So she made her life so structured that she could have 15 minutes even before you go to bed if you think about it. Just put it in your life and keep it there. You know, when I had to work a lot harder than I had to now in jobs, I would sit at meetings and kind of memorize what I had been doing the day before my art. You know, um, make drawings on the side of the page, go to lunch and sit in the park and draw. You know, just put it into your life in a Zen way so that it's not so here and there. And don't let anybody tell you differently. You know, I mean, it is a struggle, too, if you're with a partner who's resentful. But don't marry somebody like that. <laughs> <laughs> don't like that. Don't put yourself in a position, and if you do, make it firm. You're going to leave or they have to change. You know? And if they can't, then you have to walk out the door. It's your life. You know? the women historically have enough not really have their own life. It's your life. And what about in terms of residencies and having to travel and go with your artwork? How did you balance that? Did you bring your family with you? I didn't do residencies you? when didn't I was younger. Yeah. I couldn't. You know, it was not possible. I mean, maybe if I had a more supportive husband who worked, the times were different, I couldn't do that. But when my, you know, my daughter got older, and moved away from home, got married, um, now my partner's an artist, so we, we went together to Italy. We went together to India. So I get the residency, and she comes along and paints too, or, you know, 
And so we just share it together. We enjoy, we had a month in India. We had, um, um, we had a month in, in, in Italy near Genoa for the Osco. Uh -huh. And then we went, I was uh, appointed to Chibitella Ranieri, which is also a residency. And uh, they wouldn't let partners come. So some places don't. So she could only come for three days. So we met, in, we met in Rome for a week, and then we went there. But that was sort of sad. But this place in Grevy, we went for a month together. And um, in, in terms of having a show, well, I just worked on some way to do it. You know, I couldn't bring these, although I did bring some little ones. Mm -hmm. Like that little tiny little silver square. piece. Yeah, I did bring that. But it was too hard. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I, and they don't usually pay, you know, unless you're, you know, for cocktail or something. <laughs> you know, they don't pay. And so I rolled them. These rolls, I bought rolls. I have these pieces eight feet long, eight, some ten. And I got the, um, the plan of the gallery. And I rolled them all up in big uh, rolls and took them on the plane. It cost me, I had to pay over, you know, um, extra. Mm -hmm. But um, it was worth it. And uh, I forgot that I really wasn't quite as um, energetic and youthful as I used to be. When people don't run over and help, elephant to help anymore, God is there anything. You know? <laughs> so it was a little harder. But we dragged it there, and we got there. And this is Darla and my partner. She helped. Um, and, could you tell them how much it weighed? No, you can tell them. 80 pounds. Ooh, oh. It did weigh 80 pounds. Oh, my goodness. So it's quite, I mean, you know, they're, they're a little sympathetic. You know, you can sort of look tragic. And, <laughs> you know, they don't help you. You know, I'm just an artist. This is my work for my show. You, know, you have to do some of that. Um, but I don't think it costs too much more, like $200 or something. If I had to ship that work, it would have been impossible, and you worry about it. And I made sure the show was the same time as I was there. So I could pick the work up, roll it back up, and take it home with me. Because unless there was somebody trustworthy, and I didn't know them well enough. I mean, I knew them. I had had a residency there before. But, you know, people get involved with their own lives, and they could forget my work. I mean, yeah. So I made sure that I um, rolled it up the day I left, before I left. And we took the train, from the show was in Florence, Florence to Milan. We stayed overnight in Milan, and we took the plane the next morning. So that's how it was. And I made a whole lot of really interesting new pieces. So I was very happy with that. So that made it a little heavier, too. <laughs> but, you know, you can buy those big rolls, and they're made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very, um, very sturdy. It's the snowing. We had that. Um, Hurricane Sandy, was it? Mm -hmm. Wasn't Sandy? No, Hurricane Sandy was in the fall. It was the other one. Uh, there was some snowstorm. Uh, we left the day after the snowstorm. We were so worried. When we arrived in Milan, it was snowing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was sleeting and flying. I mean, it was really an experience, an adventure. It's lovely fun to talk about now. Right, Darla? <laughs> but you made some nice things there too. Darla's a painter, and uh, is your studio sort of in shape to show people your things? Right, and there's a Barbara Hepworth. Um, that's the other thing you can do with art, you can trade. I traded this Barbara Hepworth for a collage of mine, and it's a print, and it's in Darla's office. And I'll open the door, you can see it, and it's of a piece you saw today. It's a study. It's a print of the study of the little girl's hands. These are actually my granddaughter's hands. And that'll be that piece up there will be carved also. And then it'll be painted and it'll be sort of similar to those pieces there. So if you remind me in the fall sometime, I'll probably have pictures and I'll send I'll send you the pictures. Can you get your traditional party for? Yeah, you traditional party for.